I like to give people a challenge. I'm curious. I want everyone listening for the next seven days to try something.、Mm-hmm. And if you could give one to three different things that we could think differently or eliminate、mm-hmm. when a thought comes to us or we react in a certain way, if there's something you think that if we eliminated one, two, or three things, and we did this. Every day for seven、mm-hmm. days, we would start to see incredible、mm-hmm. feelings of differently. We'd feel healthier, more lively, more love. What would、okay. be those few things? Okay. Well, most people, number one, they get up in the morning and they check their cell phone, they check their text, their WhatsApp, their Facebook. They post something on Facebook. They drive to work the same way, do the same thing. So they're in a program. They've actually lost their free will to the program. Wow. So if you start your day, and you start your day with this simple question. What is the greatest ideal of myself that I can be today?、Mm. You ask yourself that question. Now, listen. Your body's going to go like, "Well, you got to get a cup of coffee, and you got to be tired, tired, yeah." And you got to go, "Ah, ah, 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 body, uh, you're not the mind. I'm the mind right now. You're going to sit here. I'm going to feed you. <laughs>、uh, you're going to get your coffee. You're going to do all those things. But right now, this is my time. You're going to obey me, right? So now, the body's no longer the mind. You're the mind. And so, when it wants to get up, and you become aware of it. And we turn back to the present moment. Every time you do, that's a victory,、wow. and you're changing some aspect of yourself. So then, ask yourself. I do this all the time. Write down four thoughts that you're going to stay conscious of the whole day. I can't. It's too hard. You'd be surprised. The moment you become conscious of what those thoughts are, how unconscious you've been to them all day,、right. you know, all for weeks on end. Write down what you speak, how you speak, four things you want to change, how you act. How do you, how do you act? You complain, you blame, you make excuses, you feel sorry for yourself. That's a victim consciousness. What emotions do you live by? Is it possible that you're so used to living by guilt you don't even know it's guilt? It just feels like you. Do you do you allow your energy to drop? Become conscious of those states of mind and body and review them and say this is the old self. Then say, what thoughts do I want to fire and wire in my brain? And start firing and wiring and start feeling it. What behaviors will I demonstrate today? What choices will I make? One day, one lifetime,、mm. and just like you did, rehearse them, rehearse the whole entire thing.、Yeah. Begin to install the neurological hardware in your brain, and if you keep installing it, the hardware is going to become a software program. You're going to start thinking and acting that way. And then here's the tough part: Can you teach your body emotionally what your future is going to feel like before it's made manifest?、Mm. And don't get up until you feel that way. Now. Practice that for a few days, and then see if you can stay in that state. And watch all of a sudden, all those weird doors start opening for you. Synchronicities, synchronicities,、yeah. whatever they are. <clears throat> Number two, take a time at the end of your day, the end of your day before you lay down, and give thanks for your life and feel gratitude. And really teach your body what it feels like. The emotional signature of gratitude. When gratitude means、mm. you're getting something. <clears throat> If I give you something that's a value, you would say thank you because you would feel it, right? So when you're receiving, you're giving thanks. So gratitude is the ultimate state of receiving.、Mm. So then, people only accept, believe, and surrender to the thoughts equal to their emotional state.、Right. So if you're in a state of gratitude. <clears throat> Every thought's gonna make it right down into your body. If you're saying I'm, I'm healthy, I'm healthy, I'm healthy, I'm wealthy, I'm wealthy, I'm wealthy, and your body's programmed the negativity, it's saying no, you're not, no, you're not, no, you're not. Thought's gonna stop right here. So as you elevate your state, there are about 1,200 different chemical reactions that go on in the body that begin to restore and repair the body in a state of gratitude. And so we've done the research to、mm-hmm. prove that. Ten minutes and just feel it. With all of your heart, that's it.、Wow. Third thing, and and very important, take time whenever it is. <clears throat> sit down, close your eyes, and begin to just open your awareness to the space around you, and just sense it and pay attention to it and become more aware of it. The act of opening your awareness begins to reduce the stress hormones and creates more coherent、wow. brainwave states. I'm doing it right now. And、it's just a practice. Yeah. It's just a practice, and the more you do it, the better you get at it.